Why are there not more people talking about the MERN stack? Today we're diving deep into the world of MERN. Alright, before we jump into the fancy stuff, let's talk about the foundation of it all, JavaScript. JavaScript is the bedrock, the core language that powers the entire stack. Now, you don't need to be a JavaScript ninja to get started, but a solid understanding is key. We're talking about the essentials, variables, data types, functions, the works. But here's where it gets really interesting, ES6. This update to JavaScript brought some serious game changers to the table, and trust me, you'll want them in your arsenal. First up, Arrow Functions. These bad boys offer a cleaner, more concise way to write functions. Then there's Destructuring, which lets you unpack values from arrays and objects like a pro. And let's not forget Promises and Async Await, your secret weapons for handling asynchronous operations without getting stuck in callback hell. All right, now that we've got our JavaScript foundation sorted, let's talk about the powerhouse of our server-side operations, Node.js. So what exactly is Node.js? In simple terms, it's a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript code outside of a web browser, like on your server. This means you can build fast, scalable and real-time applications, think chat apps, streaming services, or even online games. Node.js is built on an event-driven, non-blocking I.O. model. Basically, it means Node.js can handle multiple requests simultaneously without getting bogged down, making it super efficient and perfect for building high-performance applications. One of the key concepts to grasp with Node.js is asynchronous programming. Remember those promises and async await we talked about? They're going to be your best friends here. Now, setting up a simple server with no dies is surprisingly straightforward. You'll be using modules like HTTP or Express to handle requests, define routes and send responses. OK, we've got our JavaScript muscles flexed and our Node.js server humming. Now let's bring in the maestro of our backend Express.js. Think of Express.js as the framework that sits on top of Node.js, providing a more structured and efficient way to build web applications. So what makes Express.js so special? First off, it simplifies routing. Routing is basically defining how your application responds to different client requests, like displaying a specific page or fetching data from the database. With Express.js, you can define these routes in a clean and organized manner, making your code easier to read, maintain and scale. Next up, middleware. Middleware functions in Express.js act like a series of checkpoints for your requests. They can modify the request, add information or even terminate the request if needed. This gives you fine-grained control over how your application handles incoming requests. And of course, we can't forget about APIs, those magical interfaces that allow your application to communicate with other applications or services. Chapter 4. MongoD, your data, Oasis. We've got our server side rocking, but what about the data? Every dynamic web application needs a way to store and manage data. And that's where MongoDB comes in, our data oasis in the Mern Desert. MongoDB is a NoSQL document-oriented database, which means it stores data in flexible JSON-like documents. Imagine this, you're building an e-commerce app and you need to store product information. In a relational database, you'd have to create a table with columns for each product, attribute, name, price, description, and so on. But with MongoDB, you can simply store all this information in a single document, making it super intuitive and efficient, especially for handling large amounts of unstructured data. Instead of tables, you have collections, which are like containers for your documents. Each document within a collection can have different fields, giving you maximum flexibility. And when it comes to querying your data, MongoDB offers a powerful query language that lets you filter, sort and retrieve data with ease. Using libraries like Mongoose, you can seamlessly connect your Express.js application to your MongoDB database. Chapter 5. React Digest Crafting Stunning User Interfaces Alright, we've got our backend sorted, our database connected, but what about the face of our application, the part that users interact with? That's where React Digest comes in, the king of crafting those beautiful, dynamic and interactive user interfaces. It's a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, and it's known for its component-based architecture, which allows you to break down your UI into smaller, reusable pieces. 
Instead of writing one massive chunk of code for the entire UI, you can use React to create individual components for each element, the newsfeed, the chat box, the friend requests, and so on. These components can then be assembled and reused throughout your application, making your code more organized, maintainable, and scalable. First up, state management. The state of a component is basically the data associated with that component. React provides a mechanism for managing this state efficiently, allowing your UI to update dynamically in response to user interactions or data changes. Then there are props, which are like messengers that pass data between different components. Hooks allow you to hook into React features like state and lifecycle methods without writing class components, making your code cleaner and more concise. Chapter 6, Connecting the Dots, Full Stack Harmony. We've covered a lot of ground, but here's the exciting part. Connecting all the pieces together to create a harmonious, full stack application. Imagine this, you've built your backend with ExpressDJs and Node.js, your database is populated with data thanks to MongoDB, and your user interface is looking sharp with React.js. Now it's time to make them all talk to each other, to create a seamless flow of data and interactions. The beauty of it all is that you're using JavaScript throughout the entire stack, making the integration process smoother and more efficient. Your React front-end can communicate with your Express.js back-end via API calls, sending requests for data or triggering actions. When a user interacts with your React front-end, say, clicks a button to submit a form, your front-end code will send an API request to your Express.js back-end. The backend will then process this request, interact with your MongoDB database if needed, and send back a response to the front end. Chapter 7 Level Up Mastering Advanced Concepts. Congratulations, you've built a solid foundation with the MERN stack. But the journey doesn't end there. To truly become a MERN master, you'll want to delve into some more advanced concepts that will take your skills to the next level. First up, authentication. Almost every web application these days requires some form of user authentication, whether it's logging in, creating an account, or managing user roles and permissions. With Mern, you can implement robust authentication using technologies like JWT or JSON Web Tokens. JWTs allow you to securely transmit information between parties, ensuring that only authorized users have access to sensitive data and actions. Next, let's talk about state management in React. As your React applications grow in complexity, managing the state of your components can become challenging. This is where libraries like Redux come in handy. Chapter 8, From Theory to Reality, Building Real Projects. All right, we've covered the fundamentals, explored advanced concepts, and now it's time to put all that knowledge into practice. The best way to solidify your MERN skills is to dive headfirst into building real-world projects. Think of it like this. You wouldn't expect to become a master chef just by reading cookbooks, right? You need to get your hands dirty in the kitchen, experiment with flavors, and create dishes that make people's taste buds sing. The same goes for coding. Building real projects not only reinforces what you've learned, but also exposes you to real-world challenges, problem-solving scenarios, and the satisfaction of seeing your ideas come to life. So what kind of projects can you build with the MERN stack? The possibilities are virtually endless. Outro. Your MERN journey starts now. So there you have it, guys. A deep dive into the world of MERN. We've explored each layer of the stack, from the front-end magic of React to the back-end power of Node.js and ExpressJS, all tied together with the flexibility of MongoDB. Remember, mastering the MERN stack isn't about memorizing syntax. It's about understanding how each piece works together to create amazing web experiences. And trust me, the demand for skilled MERN developers is only going up. Companies are constantly on the lookout for developers who can build dynamic, scalable and high-performance web applications and MERN equips you with the skills to do just that. But the journey doesn't end here. The tech world is constantly evolving, so keep learning, keep experimenting and keep pushing your boundaries. Until next time, keep those creative juices flowing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.